Other news here today that we're following at 6. The sound of glass breaking at 2 in the morning awake at a Rochester Hills senior citizen who did what any of us would do. Yeah, you're right. He went to go check it out only to find someone in his house threatening to kill him. He fought off his attacker, but in a strange twist of fate, it is the attacker who died in the confrontation. Local force Rod Maloney has our story from Huntington Park near University and Livernois. To call this bizarre and unusual would really be an understatement. This is, after all, Rochester Hills, expensive condominiums. One of the neighbors who didn't want to go on camera says that the elderly gentleman who lives here could be seen walking around the complex with a walker. These are the Huntington Park condos. The sheriff's office received a 911 call from a resident living next door to the condo broken into who couldn't find his 44-year-old roommate. Oakland County Sheriff's Lieutenant Steve Jacobs explains. Went around looking around to see if he could find him while we were also searching the area. He found blood on the door handle of the uh, victim's condominium. So he walked around the back and found a window broken open and he immediately called us. The window smashed to gain entry is now boarded up. Jacobs tells Local 4 when the break in started, the unidentified intruder somehow cut himself, slicing open an artery. He proceeded to attack the 90 year old man with lamps, a table, and stabbed him with scissors inside while he bled profusely from his own arms and legs. The victim told deputies the intruder made a most incredible remark during the attack. Well, he made a statement to the victim when the victim first confronted him that he wanted to see somebody else die before he did. Sheriff's deputies found the intruder dead on the condo floor having bled out and the elderly man crying out for help. They rushed him to the hospital. He's in serious but stable condition. It seemed like they had a strong will to survive and he fought back very well. I think that's why he's alive today. There's also another reason why he's alive today. The, uh, the elderly gentleman decided to play dead to uh, make his attacker feel like he had succeeded. And uh, then he outlived him. Back to you. A smart move there. So, Rod, you showed some video of what would look like boards uh, over windows. How much damage was there in the apartment? Well, uh, we are told that it was a disaster inside, that the 90-year-old gentleman in a walker put up such a fight that the place is essentially trashed and it's covered in blood. Yeah, unbelievable. All right. Thanks, Rod.